Chess friends, world champion Magnus Carlsen is about 2,900 LO rated who have 150 to 160 IQ, chess streamers and chess professionals, says that he is a master of end game and chess opening, he is a high tactical player and so on. But can he defeat me if I down a piece in the opening for no reason? That's the big question mark, so let's go, I started with d4, we have knight to f6, here I sacrificed my bishop on h6, shocking Magnus Carlsen with my killer attitude with my killer analyzing strategy, I calculate this position and finds that it will be checkmate in 65 moves, even I can defeat Magnus Carlsen with my pre-moves only which Magnus never do in his whole life, because I am father of chess and he is a just a little kid in front of me, he takes the bishop with his pawn, it is about minus 5 position. He want to control the central square with his center pawns, develop his pieces, knight and queen, rook here to use the open file, I played e3, in chess, don't rush too quickly until you get a safe position, he played d5, he want to play c5, knight goes to d2, we have c5, so c3, stabilizing the structure, Magnus brings his queen on f6, giving me a 800 elo rated threat and he will bring his knight to control the center squares, bishop to g7 is also available, I moved up my queen on c2, we have knight c6. He can rush queenside with a5 or he can open the key center position with e5, knight to f3, bishop to g7, Magnus could play bishop here to eliminate this, the more pieces he exchanged the more winning chances will create for himself, also he can do castle on his next turn, I played h3, Magnus played castle, you might think, why he played castle on this side, stockfish can target this king structure probably, but in reality, this king structure is quite good because of the dark square bishop, bishop up to d3. It's not create any immediate attack, but it's seizing the diagonal, I want to play g4 g5, if takes, then knight takes to target this potentially, I am wonder that Magnus still can't attack any of my piece and pawns, oh sorry, I forgot that Magnus is a human, he played rook to e8, 2400 rated move in front of 4000 rated computer, he can take the pawn and play e5, that's the idea of inferior species, ok do your best, castle, he closed the queen side with c4, bishop backs, he played e5, pawn takes e5, knight takes e5, we have rook to d1, knight takes f3 by Magnus, thinking stockfish says that, the more pieces I exchange the more winning chances I will create for myself, yes Magnus you are right, but the problem is that I create a good outpost for my knight, bishop here, just re-rotate the knight and target the pawn which is my 3500 elo rated strategy, we have bishop to d7, rook goes to d4, I will slide the rook to get the f file, then I will bring my another rook. He played queen to e7 now he want to play knight here to stop my rook mission, so, rook to f4, now I am want to play knight here to target your queen, he responded with knight e4, telling me that, stockfish, don't make me fool, I am threatening to sacrifice the knight on f2, after king takes, I will take the e-pawn with the supporting of the rook, you have to move back then I will win your rook. Yes Magnus, I never make you fool because you are already a fool, rook to f7, try to protect this, he played rook to d8, queen back to d1, I want to play knight here, then bishop here to target this pawn potentially, he blocks it with bishop f6, knight goes to d4, to target this, if you think bishop can take the knight, then I will play bishop here to target this, you have to move for queen first, then bishop takes, rook takes bishop, queen queen g4 check, and targeting the rook at the same time which will be disrespectful for Magnus, so he played queen e5, bishop goes to h5, keeping eye on this pawn, after the bishop, queen goes to g5, queen to e2, here Magnus sacrificed his bishop by playing bishop takes h3, telling that, stockfish, if you can sacrifice your bishop then I can too, your bishop sacrifice is pointless but my sacrifice is worthy, first of all I am threatening mate in one, I blocked the queen's line with bishop g4, and you cannot take the bishop. Let me show you why, if bishop takes bishop happen, then rook takes bishop, you will lose your queen, you was dying to sacrifice your bishop, now your queen is in danger, so in this position, he gets scared and takes the knight first, pawn takes d4, I am threatening the bishop and you still can't take the bishop, 
never sacrifice your bishop in front of stockfish, you can't be die, and at the same time you can't live, you will stuck in the middle, like the Magnus Carlsen's bishop. Bishop can't take it because of rook takes, and so on, so he takes the pawn on g2, king takes, we have h5, to target the bishop in front of my king, I played 3800 rated move rook to h1, pawn can't take the bishop, let me show you why, if it happen, then rook takes pawn, and you will lose your queen, so if you move back your queen, then rook takes, takes, queen for two rooks and, I can manage this position to win, so, in this position, we have knight back to f6, targeting this and this. So I played my 4000 elo rated move, sacrificing the rook, and you still cannot take the bishop, Magnus sent his bishop to destroy my king but I destroyed his bishop in two moves, and my bishop is targeted by the pawn since four moves, and he still can't take the bishop, that's the difference between inferior human and an artificial intelligent man, he takes the rook on f6, rook takes h5, b5, queen f3, giving a queen exchange, Magnus says no, so king backs, queen check, king here, queen backs, king backs, queen check. King here, if you think you can take these pawns, let me show you, then rook check, king slides, queen to f6, there is mate in two moves, queen can't help the king, so if a6 happen, then queen check, here, rook e5 check, which will be checkmate, you have three major pieces, but you get checkmated, shame, so in this position. Magnus played queen e4, giving a queen exchange, so after queen takes, rook takes, bishop f3, rook backs, bishop takes d5, Magnus have two rooks and I have a rook and bishop, but I will win this position because I, I wait, what was I going to say, oh, subscribe the channel to get more episodes like this, Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.